think we lost them. Maybe they were too embarrassed to sound the alarm. I can't believe you did that. That god were barreling down on you. I swear he was twice your size. And I had just swung up on the roof, which you should be fully able to do by now, by the way. But you couldn't reach the gutter or my hand. Instead of fleeing, you turned and ran straight at him, and you used him as a stepladder. What? No. That was his head, not his shoulder. You stepped on him three times. You jumped up on his stomach, then stepped on his chest, and then right in the middle of his face, and you pushed off as hard as you could, and actually got high enough up in the air for me to grab you. You probably broke his nose, and perhaps a few ribs. I did glance across my shoulder once as we were running away. It looked like he fell backwards into his colleague that were coming up right behind him. From what I could tell, both of them were just sprawling in the middle of the street. And that was, um, ten, twelve rooftops ago. So yeah, <laughs> I think we lost them. I know it was just dumb luck on your part, but also kind of impressive. Well done. But you need to learn to sneak properly. You make too much noise. Use a spell if you have to. Balance too. You need better balance. And climbing skills. Those featherfall spells of yours are useful. But it would be better if you didn't fall off roofs at all. Well, don't look down then. Keep your eyes on the rooftops makes it easier to keep your balance. It wouldn't do if we got caught stealing trinkets tonight and have to leave the actual job undone. You know, this is actually a pretty good vantage point. We can see our target from here. Look to the south, past the university campus. Do you see the building with the blue tiled roof? That's it. Bellamy Manor. Richest estate in the city. But we're going in for just one thing. In and out. Quick as possible. Gail isn't coming, by the way. It will just be you and me tonight. Yeah, I know. It was his plan to begin with. But he's doing the shot to Kellogg postal run tonight. He tried last week as well. And he said they wouldn't be expecting it two weeks in a row. And I'm sure he's right. And we do need the money. So Gail does the postal run in case we fail. We're pretty broke right now. Tonight's job is best done with as few people as possible anyway. And I think it's only... Peg like Meg and Three Fingers Larry that are available right now. Everyone else is busy. This job requires quite a bit of climbing. And that is a lot easier if you have both legs and opposable thumbs. So it's just you and me tonight, newbie. But Gail seems to believe in you. And who am I to argue with the boss? He did show you the layout of the property, right? The blueprints, the card schedule, every entrance and exit. Good. He's usually very thorough, but uh, it's 
this job specifically, but a window of opportunity has opened, and it will not stay open for long. Do you have any idea what the magical artifact actually is, or what it can do? No, but it should be obvious when you see it. Yeah, I guess it would be obvious for you. Hopefully it's something small. Oh, we don't want it for ourselves. Wouldn't know what to do with it. But we do have a buyer. I don't know who it is. You'd have to ask Gail. And I doubt he'd tell you. It's better we don't know, in case we get caught. Yes, I suppose it is kind of brutal. But it's also a necessary precaution. It keeps the others safe, or safer, if we get caught. But let's try to avoid that. If this goes well, it would cover our living expenses for more than a year. We could take it easy for a while, go on holiday, or just take a break, relax for a month or two at least. Yeah, that would be really nice. The window of opportunity. All right, the mage that usually guards the mansion has uh, had some sort of accident. He's not there. He's in Uranus Temple of Healing, but probably not for long. His enchantments should still be up and working in his absence. But now that we have you on our team, and he's gone for the time being. This is actually doable. Doesn't mean it's easy though. I need you to follow my lead and get rid of any enchantments in our way, okay? Can you do that? Quickly and efficiently. Alright. I trust you. I really do. I'm just making sure. Because I can't tell, you know, if there's a magic trap in front of me. And I don't know what you need to do your job. You have to tell me. We've planned this one for a long time. It never seemed possible to pull it off. But we planned for it anyway, just in case we got the chance one day. If we cross over there, yes, right there, we'll use the grappling hook. It's a simple swing, but don't look down. That drop will make your head spin. I'll attach the hook to the chimney over there. And then we'll cross again at Tanner Street. And then we can descend to street level, right behind the faculty library. Yes, there's um, a building right next to the small clock tower. Do you see it? Looks kinda ramshackle. Yes, that one. It has an unlocked attic window. That building is abandoned, so we can descend to the street below without climbing. But we'll stay on the rooftops as long as possible, so no one will see us enter the area at all. No guards, no night owls, no students cramming for their exams. 
faculty of humanities bought at the mansion grounds. The humanities gets next to no founding, so there's little in the way of security there. But there are the occasional city watch patrol. In the alley behind the library, there's a little side gate with enchantments on it, we assume, leads to the manor grounds. We could scale the fence instead, but that probably has some sort of magical protection as well. I'll leave that decision up to you when we get there. Have your climbing skills improved? It's been a couple of weeks since I saw you. I had to travel for a bit. I hope you've put that time to good use. Those featherfall spells of yours comes in handy when you keep falling off rooftops. But tonight it would be best if you didn't fall at all. If we get caught, they'll put us in a prison cell that no thief can escape. And once we've crossed the manor grounds, we need to climb again. Our entry point is the skylight above the private library in the mansion. Did you bring everything I told you to? Let me take a look. Rope. Grappling hook. Lockpicks. Smoke bombs. Calc drops and blinding powder. In case of trouble. Good. You've got everything. Any magical equipment? Are you sure you don't need anything? Because I would not be able to tell what you need to bring when it comes to magic. No tools at all. Mm. That's very practical. The less we need to carry with us, the better. When we've opened the skylight, I'll lower the rope and will descend. You go first, and I'll be right behind you. Once we're inside, remember the layout. The library is big, and we need to reach the southwest corner of the room. Our target is in the vault hidden behind the portrait of King Theron. It's charmed to look like a wall to anyone who doesn't know its secret. There's a guard that walks through every 15-20 minutes or so, so we need to wait for him to pass and then be as quick as we can. We think the portrait will be protected by a sigil lock. I brought this. It looks like a small air trumpet. I use it to listen to the mechanism inside vault doors while I try to pick them. It allows me to hear when each pin reaches the shear line. Yes, I assume the vault will still be locked with a regular lock after you remove the sigil lock and whatever other enchantments and spells there are. So when you're done, it's my time to shine. We make a good team, I think. Our abilities complement each other. One 
things we are done, our escape should be fairly simple. We'll just retrace our steps. What's that? Oh, so you did bring something. A potion. What does it do? Potion of spider climb, huh? Can we go straight up the walls with it? <laughs> no, that would be too good to be true. It, uh, it strengthens your grip. Makes it easier to climb. That is also very useful. You made this. I had no idea you also did alchemy. Our dusty old lab haven't seen much use since Farron retired. Thank you. You brought one for yourself as well, I gather. We should wait a little bit longer until the city gods have passed right below us again. It's always nice to know more or less where they are when we start out. Shouldn't be too long. Did you know we were recruited in the same manner. Gail busted me out of jail too. I won't ask why you were in there. You can share if you want to, but don't feel obliged. We all left our past behind when we joined. All I know about you is that you're a mage. Um, your good wit and jauntments in particular, and that you're an out-of-towner, not a local, and that you managed to land yourself in the Duke's dungeon for some reason, like I did about six years ago. I thought I'd rot away in there had a five-year sentence, but less than a fourth night in, Gail came. <laughs> he actually knocked. I said, come in, and he just opened the door and walked right in, and he gave me a choice, a real choice, I mean. He said he would free me, and then I could decide whether I wanted to join up with him and his little gang, or strike out on my own. I could have just left. Hmm. Was it the same with you? Yeah, I'm glad he gave you a real choice as well. Even though we really needed your skills. If the choice had been, join us or rot in jail, how could he have trusted any one of us? He knows that we are all part of this because we truly want to. That's why we work so well together. We have all chosen each other, found family. The gods have passed below. Come on. 